Hi, how are you all doing? How many of you heard of Norman Vincent Peale's Positive Imaging, The Powerful Way to Change Your Life? It's a great book. I did homeschool with my kids, and the last two, I was able to share this book with them. You know, when you visualize things, your brain starts to think that, it's, that it really happened. And in this book, it talks about someone that played basketball. He was a professional basketball player. In here, it says his name, but I didn't look it up. Instead of always practicing, he would visualize in his mind practicing playing basketball. And he did really well because of that. I'm going to just quickly open it, and I'm going to read whatever I opened it up to. It says, Imaging is a positive thinking carried one step further. In imaging, one does not merely think about a hoped-for goal. One sees or visualizes it with tremendous intensity, reinforced by prayer. I think that's very important is to reinforce it with prayer. Imaging is kind of a laser beam of the imagination, a shaft of mental energy in which the desired goal or outcome is pictured so vividly by the conscious mind that the unconscious mind accepts it and is activated by it. This release, I said it weird, this release is powerful internal forces that can bring about astonishing changes in the life of the person who is doing the imaging. So it, it, it's very powerful to visualize yourself doing something that you really have a goal for doing, something that you really want to do. It's so easy as we get older in our life to forget what our dreams are. It's, it's really easy to, to do that. When you read a book like this, it reminds you, especially as you, as you get older, it reminds you of your dreams. And um, just start picturing the things that you remembered that you wanted to do when you're younger. And sometimes your dreams can change as you get older. But if you're younger, of course, it's good to learn this ahead of time. It's really good. And it talks about healing. If you have a, a disease, if you visualize yourself healing, that's very powerful. But if you just think about your disease every day and say, oh, my disease, my cancer, my this, my that, and you're owning it, you're acting like that it's your disease. It's important to not do that. It's important to visualize yourself healthy. It's very powerful. In here, it says, um, I'll just start reading again. Again, passionate dream into concrete reality, burning images into tangible substance. Just coincidence? No, because he, he's talking about Mary Crow. Incredibly, when she went to St. Mary of the Springs and saw the campus for the first time, I kind of jumped into a story that I didn't check ahead of time. He's talking about a young girl who pictured herself when she was young, she pictured her future. Her name was Mary Crow. There was a great depression going on in the country, in our country. Her strange vision must be just a young girl, wishful fantasy, nothing more. So as a young girl, she pictured herself going to college at a campus. And I'll go back to what I was reading. It said here that Mary Crow told me that incredibly when she went to St. Mary of the Springs as she got older, she had seen in the vision that came to her while she was sloshing her father's overalls in the battered tin tub in the Crow family kitchen. When Mary Crow was younger and doing the work around the house, she visualized herself going to college. And when she got there to the college, let's see, what's the name of it? Anyway, I can't find what the name of it is. But when she got there, it was like she had imagined. Visualizing what you want to do in your life. If I make you dizzy by going back and forth. Anyway, she visualized what she wanted to do when she got older and, and it came to pass. So the, the book is just, it's amazing. I've been able to follow my dreams. Not all of them, because I didn't visualize them enough. But I was able to visualize like starting a YouTube channel. I, I wanted to do something important like that. And so I just jumped in and did it. As a young girl, I didn't know anything about YouTube or, you know, I couldn't even imagine that we'd have anything like YouTube or the internet or anything like that. So I didn't imagine that, but I, I just jumped in and did it. And I, I've been really glad that I 
have done YouTube. I hope that you'll subscribe and like. Make it a great day. Make it a great year. And read the book. Come back and tell me if you read it. And go look for my other YouTube book reports. Okay, bye.